Ladies and gentlemen, and here we go with the Flex Tilt Head Pro. And this is from Edelchrome. Boom, right here. So it's so dope. I actually have another one in the box. And uh, so I'll do a quick unboxing for you in this video. I was gonna do this live, but I just figured this is a live pre-recording. Okay, so check him out. Here once again, you have the flex tilt head. Now, I had other ones, and I'm gonna show you the other ones that I had. You have the flex tilts, right? And this one you have the Edelchrome, and this is a flex tilt. It's not really going to say much on there. You have two versions before this. And the interesting thing about this is when you were to put a camera on here, so for instance, if uh, I had this A7C on here, in order to pull this up, you would have to rely on the tension that would definitely hold the camera up. Okay, it's gonna, you know, pull out like this. You do have more than just a Z on this, but it would hold this up and the camera would sit fine on here. That's that version. And then you have this version right here. And this is an advanced version. The thing about this is it actually has the Allen wrench on the side. Why do you need the Allen wrench? You need the Allen wrench because when you actually put these up, you might have to adjust the tension on it depending on how how heavy your camera is and the rig. And so on my desk here, um, you might be able to see, there's the Flex Tilt Head Pro, but on my rig up here, which is all Edelchrome up here, um, that's in another video, I'll show you the link to it. I have my desk view hooked up to it. And this right here, you have this you have the front on there and depending on how much lens you have on there, you have to be very careful of the weight on the front. Now, the thing about Edelchrome that's so dope is every one of their flex tilts actually will hold a good rig up and you can tighten it so much so. So back to the point, they didn't have an Allen wrench on here, they gave it to you. But then if you're out in the field and you don't have an Allen wrench, it's screwed. So, they give you the Allen wrench with the next model and it sits right on here. That's good. The thing is, once you tighten this enough to hold your rig, then it's going to kind of hold it in place, but you got to do a lot of pulling and stuff. And when you put heavier equipment on this stuff, uh, you always found yourself taking and tightening the tension or having to get that Allen wrench to put it secure if you got it where you want. Then... If you decided I want to move the camera or something like that, then you had to take the Allen wrench out or you had to force it and move it. And then you had to retighten it at the new spot. That was too much. So I have an argument and the argument is they actually advertise the flex tilt head pro. Let's look into it. Okay. Back over top of the desk. They actually advertise this thing. Okay. For your big cameras and your big rigs, but I stand to say it works for all rigs. So let's look at what they got in here. Of course, you got the Edelchrome um, instant piece for the accident insurance. You can activate that and then you can register your product and all of that stuff. Let me tell you something, their customer service is great. When I say it, I'm gonna tell you again, their customer service is A plus, okay? You have a problem, they don't put you through the ringer. If it's motorized or something, they say, send me a video, show me what's wrong with it. You send it to them, they review it, they get right back to you, they send you another product out, okay? Um, they determine if you broke it, they broke it, whatever, or if it's their default, they get it done, okay? So you can trust them. Now, let's go back to this. Let's take this out. You have your different um, uh, connectors on here for you know underneath the bottom and tighten it depending on what you have um, to mount it okay and then you have the piece itself wonderful piece it's very simple they let you know on here keep handles clear of moving parts while positioning your camera basically what they're saying is you don't want to smash your finger in this but if you're pro you already know what you're doing now you have your 
eye level on here so that you can make sure everything is level. You have your connect on the bottom, right? And then the best part about it is you have these. Now, listen closely. Here's what I discovered. This is my third one. If you over loosen this, right? There's a piece in there that if it gets out of the middle, when you go to tighten this, it won't actually tighten the right way. Then you'll think that you need to take an Allen wrench and tighten the tension over here. Right out the box, you never actually need your Allen wrench, which is connected right here. See the Allen wrench? You actually don't need the Allen wrench right here to tighten this, but you can. My suggestion is don't even bother with the Allen wrench. Just take and position this wherever you want. You know, this is this is loose. So take the tension that's on there out of the box, move your camera how you want, and then tighten it in place. I promise you, the camera ain't going nowhere. Let's check out what's going on. Here, the jib is moving right now. On here, I have an A7C. Okay, this is an A7C camera. This is a G, uh, G2 lens, the 70 to, what is it? Jesus Christ, I keep forgetting. It's the 70, it's the 70 to 200 G Master, okay? And when I say a big lens, it's a big lens. Let me cut this other mic on so I can talk on the other side of the room since I don't have a cordless mic. So cut you on and I cut you off now. Mic check one, two. Okay, we're live over on this side. So if you check this camera out right here, this is the Flex Tilt. I actually have it on, it is called a Benro stand. It's a short Benro stand. This is not the one that Edelkrone suggests, but this is, I found this on YouTube. I'll put the link in there. I found it on um, Amazon, but check this out. You have the ability to take and just swivel this guy once you have it on the tripod any way you want. Now, mind you, I have it locked in place. This is, those of you who know about this rig, this is a heavy rig. And because it's a heavy rig, um, when you go to put this on, and uh, I would suggest you don't grab the camera, but you just turn it from the bottom here, just grab it anywhere and turn it. But check out the ability to move it. Now, these old guys, what was great about these, take a listen. These old guys, what was dope is, if you have like a smaller camera like my A7C, you would just put it on there and pull it up. And once you have the tension set, it's just gonna sit. These are very good, but don't go cheap. Spend the extra money and get the Flex Tilt Head Pro. I promise you, you'll, you'll be happy. Let's check it out and I'll be done. You got this heavy camera sitting on here. Let's get my microphone over here. You got this heavy camera sitting on here. And if I wanna move this camera up, down, whatever, I'm just gonna take this and loosen, right? See how that goes down? I'm gonna get this camera up where I want and I'm just gonna turn and lock it in place. How dope is that? Now, if you, if you do this right, I'm gonna take this and lean this over the front over here because of the weight. Watch how this can go out here, right? Flex tilt, see that? Heavy lens on here, this is going all out. Um, let me position it over here so you can see the lean out. And if I wanna position him out here, let's level him up and let's go out here, right? So now if you got enough leg on the bottom, look at that. It The flexibility of how you can position this is so great. Um, if I wanted to point down, I was shooting at something down. This is all the stuff that you can do on the flex tilt head. It's not going anywhere, okay? Again, you just unloosen this guy right here, and then you position him up like this, and there you go. Voila, what an awesome thing. You can put this guy on the, the Edelkron sliders and stuff. It's gonna slide, you can have the camera out there. Um, once again, you double check your balance, um, depending on the tripod that you have, but if I'm shooting the stars at night, there you go. You're pointing the camera straight up in the air and you have the ability to rotate this guy around and move him. There's no other Z stand or anything like it. Just the fact that they came up with this unique idea to tighten this in place. When you're on the go and you're doing a photo shoot, you can't miss 
with being able to take this guy and pull him back. You loosen both, you, pos you position it wherever you want and hit the Titan and you're done, okay? So let me give you one last piece on how dope this is. I'm just gonna stop this jib right now. Let's get this jib up on me and hit this pose. Now, let's bring this guy in. Okay, I'm actually gonna take and zoom in on this rig right here because I have the Edelkrone on this one as well. Now, if you notice, with this guy right here, you actually have a teleprompter that's sitting on the front. The thing with the teleprompter sitting on the front is, because this teleprompter guy is sitting on the front, you wanna be careful because here's a camera right here and this is a little small camera, right? Got it. So you'll say, hey, I can just use the little small thing for it and save the money. No, when you have to make adjustments, real simple, you just move that, tighten it. You need it up higher. Just loosen these two, put the camera up and tighten this. Now, I call these the crab legs from Edelkrone. It's called the stand one. And you have this guy sitting where you want. And this is not heavy, but it's weight that you're putting on the front. So you don't have to worry about this coming off the front. Just drop this on here. It's going to hold it because I'm able to tighten this in place. So simultaneously, this is what I'm doing. If I'm sitting here like this and I want to make some movements, okay, let me see if I can help you out. I'm going to throw this up here. I'm almost done this video. Check this out. Uh, where's the jib? The jib is over there. Okay. Split screen right here. Let's do a crop. Shout outs to my wonderful, here we go. So side by side, this is what I'm doing. You see me in the front? I wanna take and I wanna lower this down. So all I'm gonna do is take right on the side, do this, do this, and drop him right down here, get my tilt right, and I have my, my drop down right here. Oh, it's too low, I wanna point it up. I'm gonna just go to the back here and move him up. A little tighten right here, and I got myself lined up. See that? Real simple. Oh, I wanna get it up and more like this. Taking, unloosen, unloosen, pull this guy straight up. Boom, tighten, and tighten, and she's done. Simple as that. It's gonna hold it, okay? That is why I love this Flex Tilt Head Pro. You need to grab one, okay? So please, mind yourself. You wanna get one of these. I think you'll love it. Now let me set my cameras back the way they're supposed to go. Get this guy out of here, because on this one, it's supposed to be only this. Okay, we are at the 12, 13 minute mark. It is time to go. I am Keith Pelzer, and I literally call myself, let me see if I can find it. I call myself the No Pro. See that right down there in the corner? No Pro, because I don't know everything. I'm not a pro at all of this stuff. Um, I'll have some videos doing some shooting and stuff on this oh, wrong camera. Let's see. Go back to that guy. Okay. I have some videos and stuff where I'll be shooting on this actual Jesus. Okay. Now you can see it on this camera. Once again, this is the Ben Rose short stand. I like this. Um, it is a very dope stand, very sturdy to hold your equipment. Um, once again, there's the flex tilt head and that is holding up this big massive camera. That works when I have to sit this on a shelf or a car or something, but for the extra flexibility, um, you have the ball tilt and all of that. You kind of don't want a big camera on this doing that. So you put it on um, a 75 inch bowl, okay? And what you do, a 75 millimeter, whatever bowl or something like that. I told you, I am a no pro. And so you put it on there and the flex tilt head is going to allow you to do a lot of maneuverability as well. If you have to put the camera out on the side, you just turn the camera, check this out. You just turn the camera um, to the side and you can lean her. So I'm going to put my other camera on here so you can get a little glimpse of that. Here we go. She comes off. And so if we have this other camera on here, we'll put her on this way, right? Okay, so watch this A7C, I'm shooting, I wanna do sideways shooting, boom, right here. Camera is in place. 
Look at that. There she is on the side. Um, if we want to pull it in, we can do it like this. And there we go. Right to the side, we're doing shooting, okay? Up oh, over the other side, no problem. Go down here and go over here. Out here, we are shooting to the side. Boom. That's it for now. No pro. I holler back.